Police need your help identifying two gunmen wanted in a violent encounter. One suspect was caught on camera firing one bullet that hit two people inside of a Chinese restaurant. Joe Holden is live at the Upper Darby Police Department where authorities have just released the new video of the shooters. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon. And in this case, Upper Darby Township Police are looking for some bad guys, according to Superintendent Mike Chitwood. It was Friday night around 1140, and in this video, you are going to see a robbery in action. Now take your eyes and focus on the upper left part of your screen. The man at the corner at the door. Police say he is Oscar Seth Murray III of North Philadelphia. Investigators say he notices another man in the restaurant carrying a wad of cash. He approaches that man and a scuffle begins. Some of it off camera, but it is happening in the bottom left of your screen. He then drags the victim to the door of the Chinese restaurant, pulls out a large caliber handgun, and video shows he shoots him in the neck. Now, we blurred the video there because of its graphic nature. The bullet exited through the victim's back and lodged in the leg of a 16-year-old who was still in the restaurant. That 16-year-old is okay. Now, the 23-year-old victim who was shot in the neck is now paralyzed from the waist down. Here is Superintendent Mike Chitwood. It's a sadistic, heinous, cold-blooded, calculated shooting. That's period what it is. That's what it is. That's the reality of what we're starting to see every day in our community, in our country. So after that first shooting where two people were hit, the violence continues. Police say Timothy Dwayne Price of Upper Darby rushed to the door and fired two shots in Seth Murray's direction. Nobody was hit. As for priors, both have them. Firearms, uh, weapons charges, but uh, right now police really looking to track down these two men. If you have any information on their whereabouts, Upper Darby police want to hear from you. That is the latest reporting live outside the police department here in Upper Darby. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe.